Got a bigger game out there, Ashley. Uh, not in a while, not in a while, you know, but uh, and it just means that next week's going to be all that more all that more special as well. So it just was a true team win tonight. I thought we played an excellent ball game. Hope we're at about 125 according to Bob's stats. Is that acceptable? We're fine with that because he got a bunch of them. It'll be honest with you, he got a bunch of them in our, we're in our dime package there and before half. And he's a great back. He's got talent. You saw it tonight. But I really think our kids bottled him up and we hit him and then we kept after him and they did a tremendous job. We didn't give up the big long run tonight, which is going to Awesome to have you. That's what our defense. Kind of a typical Sunbury start. A little slow there, Brian. Well, we got to correct that. That's for sure. We had some points that we feel we loved off the, on the board, off the uh, off the board again tonight with some turnovers early. But uh, we got things corrected, and I think once again we, we proved we were the more physical football team tonight. You got the game ball, but does it go to your defense tonight? It goes to our defense. My hat goes off those guys. David Presser. It starts with him up front. Jordan Skovac. All those guys. I, yeah, all those Cedric. I mean, we came with some big plays, and we were able to get some big sacks, rushing only three people. And that's what should be to our football. Kids. Mm -hmm. Talk about the score right before the half there. I mean, you two turnovers kind of shoot yourself in the foot, but you're able to get it tied. Like you say on the sideline, you have to, have to believe, right? You, yeah, you guys we, did that. We, we, I think our football team has shown that characteristic the last you know, eight years that we'll fight to the end and we believe we're going to win. And uh, getting that score before half just solidified that. And our big thing we talked about at halftime was that you know we've given two turnovers and gotten none. And then in the second half, we were able to get three, I think it was. And I think that was the difference in the ballgame tonight. How about Mike Bronson back? He had a n real nice catch and run and then a fumble on another fumble, but you still got the confidence to give him the ball. Yeah, the nice thing about him is he ran hard. You know, we'll take a kid that wants to run hard. We, you know, it wasn't a careless mistake. Sometimes you got to say they made a good play, and they were stripping the ball, and he ran hard, but he bounced back and showed he is the heart of the champion tonight. 5-0 conference. Well, I mean, awesome. It means we clinch playoffs. We're the first team that can do that in our league. We're sitting atop the league. We control our own destiny. We talked about you know, last year we, we shared the league and, and, and we got a goal of, of hopefully winning it again. And, and we just want to keep rolling along, taking it one game at a time and, and see where things end up at the end of the year. You know they had three of their starting defensive backs out and another one went out in the second quarter. But it looked like Tyler was having some problems. Was the wind a big factor passing-wise early? I don't know if the wind necessarily was. Field position got us a little bit and then they were bringing some people and uh, you know they you got to give them credit too. They were trying to take away Ross Harmon with some, some double coverage over the top on him, and uh, you know, but that allowed us to run the football a little bit better. I think so. We're kind of that team that's going to take what they give you, and you know, if we can spread it out and throw it, we'll do that. If we can pound it, we'll try to pound it. And I'm glad, I think we were able to wear them down tonight. Was there one particular series or play, Brian, that got, kind of got you? Yeah, you know, I, I, I think when. Uh, I, I think when Jordan Skoviak made that catch on the sidelines to, to keep the ball going and we were able to score, and I think we got a field goal on that drive. That was a huge play, and it just allowed us to get a, a two-score lead, which was huge. How do you keep this team from becoming complacent now? Yeah, we just talked about last time we beat these guys at our place. We went down to Parker and laid an egg, and uh, we can't afford to do that. We know our league's tough. Everyone's going to be gunning for you, and, and we like where we're at right now, but we've got a long ways to go.